Hello everyone and welcome back to Untamed Life of the Cougar and we are here with Kira and her cubs who are currently hanging out at the den. There have been a few predators around but uh, not too terribly many and I think I'm gonna go try and fight the rogue because I'm getting a little bit worried she is gonna come after us especially if we have to flee from the killer male. Um, I don't know if we'll have to- that's a wolf. Uh, hello, no. Uh, you are not supposed to be here. You are not welcome here. This is my territory. Stay away. My babies are here. I don't want you around. Um, where are the others? So, there's one over here. Uh, never mind. We're gonna fight the wolves then. So I'm a little worried that if we do have to go past that, uh, rival female, that she might cause us some grief. But I don't think it should be too bad, hopefully. Um, oh, right up here. And I think right up here. Yep, it's a wolf. I had a feeling. Um, most of the ones in this area are going to be wolves. <laughs> uh, but we do need to be kind of cautious because I'm pretty sure we're going to get sent away. Um, there's another wolf right up here. All right, over here. There you are. Nope. You are going to go down. And I'm going to bring this one back as, uh, as food because I don't want to be out too far away. I'm pretty sure that the uh, killer male is going to strike at any moment, and we need to be ready to just pack up and leave whenever he does. Uh, again, I mentioned last episode, it seems like he appears every 20 to 30 minutes of gameplay, and we had a full episode without incident, so I'm very, very skeptical that we're going to make it very far without him coming after us. Um, we just need to run all the way back down here. And there are the babies. We'll bring this back. And I'm going to try and grab... Uh, not not a kitten. I want I want food. Sorry, Rosie. Oh, no, Rosie. I, I'm going to put you over here. I just want to, uh, to grab some food here. We're going to bring it away because whenever we eat, it picks all the carcasses that are nearest us. And so that's, of course, not very advantageous. We've got a rival on the way. We're going to go fight her. So she decided she is ready to face us, evidently. And so, oh boy. Um, there's an enemy right here. I'm going to be careful of that. But this rival is going to turn up in any sec at any second. So we need to go fight her. And uh, this rival might appear before this, before we even manage to reach this uh, enemy, or at the same time as we're reaching this enemy. I just want to know if it's going to be a fox or not. So I definitely want to make sure we take down, it is a fox, okay. I definitely want to take down the rival before we leave. Oh no, it's a hunter, are you serious? No, 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 you are going down. All right, you are going down, and you are going to go down. And, oh boy, okay, we have got to deal with this situation before it escalates. Oh my goodness. All right, oh wow, we're, we're standing on her head now. <laughs> that, that's a thing in this game, apparently. All right, so do not run towards my den, excuse you. She should run off and disappear, though. Okay, where are the others? Okay, there is something over here, and it might be another hunter. Uh, so we need to go investigate this pronto, because I do not want to be leading my babies through a field full of hunters. Uh, that is not what I would like. Oh, there is another hunter right up there. Okay. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Oh, no. No, no, no. Okay, that to me missed, thankfully. Oh, he's gonna try and stop. All right, we can take him down. We just gotta catch up to him. <laughs> All right, there we go. So, nothing super close to the den, but, uh, we do want to definitely get back there. Uh, I was a little worried that Rival was going to cause us problems because they, basically, they hang out in the area and if you don't chase them off within, like, three days or so, then they come and attack you. So, um, is this, it's a fox. No, oh, no, it isn't. No, oh, it's a hunting dog. He's behind the rock. Okay, I was going to say, I thought it was going to be a hunting dog, but there is another one. Oh, we gotta get out of here. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go. We don't have time for this. We need to move immediately. I was gonna say, there's no way it's gonna take a long time for this guy to come back now. I knew we were getting very, very close. Uh, we gotta book it. Let's grab a carcass and move because it is time once again to vacate the den. Where are we going? Uh, back to the one we just came from, or the one next to the one we just came from, actually. So, we're kind of just going back the same way. Is he stuck in the river again? Definitely not. So, these guys need to move with us. We are going to grab 
I'm going to grab one of these wolf carcasses and we're going to move. So these guys are not very old yet. We're going to have to move very, very slowly. And uh, it is going to be a bit of a painstaking journey because we're probably going to have to fight off the killer male the whole way. And we are going to uh, need to be very careful with them as we make our way through here. Uh, eventually they will start to get a little older and they'll be able to keep up better. In fact, I think by the time we finish this journey, they'll probably be about ready to age up. But uh, once they reach the next stage, they'll be able to keep up much better and it'll be a lot easier to take care of them. But, oh boy, he's definitely going to catch us. So we need to be just keeping an eye on his position. And hopefully we can finish the journey before the episode is up because uh, I'd like to get settled in again. And then maybe we will have a, an episode of respite before this happens once again. So that was about 25 minutes uh, between attacks here. I think it's anywhere from like 20 to uh, 30 minutes so generally we have about one per episode. Sometimes we get a break. Most of the time we don't. Uh, we'll mark this tree on the way so that uh, it doesn't um, it doesn't spawn rivals while we're gone, hopefully. But uh, we just need to move on as quickly as possible and keep an eye on the terrain ahead. I don't believe that open field is as open as it appears. I'm pretty sure we're going to run into problems when we get there. I'm going to stop, feed these guys. Are they going to eat? They are going to eat. So let's keep going and keep heading for that tree. I'm actually going to eat as well. So there we go. Oh, and our carcass despawned. So, oh, I do want you guys to follow. <laughs> um, is there anything up ahead? I don't see anything just yet. So let's keep moving. Everybody's safe thus far, but yeah, I, I don't I don't know, you guys. I'm a little bit worried that... Uh, that we're, we're gonna have problems. It, it could be kind of tricky here. We, we just gotta keep going to the best of our ability and really watch where that uh, killer male is. He's definitely gonna catch up to us before we get to the den, so we're gonna have to fend him off at least once. Uh, this time he did not get himself stuck anywhere. And so, oh, that's, that's actually a fox. Okay, all right. Um, get him, get him, get him. No, we didn't get him. All right, stay crouched. Keep an eye on his position. He's going to come from this way now. Um, and the... Um, oh, here he comes. Okay, we got him. No, we didn't get him. Okay, we got him. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was way too close for comfort. All right. Uh, the rival is not... Or the, the killer male is not upon us just yet. I think he actually probably nipped at one of the babies. I didn't actually see it happen, but he was definitely right there. Um, but we're gonna get as far as we can, and about the time that he shows up on our, our mini-map there is usually when, um, when, when we'll be having to fight him. But I'm going to make sure these guys stay extremely close so that we don't have any issues with him attacking them from behind when we're, <laughs> when we're not, when we're not ready to deal with him. So let's keep it moving, and hopefully... We can just head off here, and uh, we'll be able to get pretty far before he attacks us. I'm guessing we're going to have to fend him off two to three times, though, because he's already pretty much upon us, and we've, we're about maybe a quarter of the way there, so we're definitely going to have to do this a lot, depending on how far he runs when uh, he actually does catch up to us. Okay, he's very, very close. I can see him on the mini-map now. And so, when he gets just a tiny bit closer, I am going to turn around and, and fend him off. Do I see him coming? I'm going to walk backwards so we can see him, and we'll look for, um, we'll look for any other enemies <laughs> that might be showing up on the mini-map. So, he's going to be appearing. Oh, I see him. He's coming over that hill there. You can see him right off to a little bit of the right side of the screen. Uh, let's just watch. I'm going to keep moving. I'm going to actually, st or I'll stop and head this way, and then he'll charge us in a moment. I told them not to follow, so they should, um, they should stop and stay where they're at, and we should be able to fend this guy off. So, he, thankfully, uh, he won't do too much damage to us. Get out of here. Okay, he's gonna run. Let's get back. Let's grab our carcass and move again. So, come on, you guys. Let's keep going before he decides to turn around and come back for us. Um, I'm really hoping these guys age up very soon here because they are so slow. <laughs> uh, 
and uh, it does make it very difficult to actually care for them. So there's three growth stages before they become adults. So there's this first one where they're very small, very slow, very vulnerable. There's a second one when they're still small and vulnerable. They look like this, but they're just a little bit bigger. But they can actually pretty much keep up with you when you're walking rather than us having to do this take a step and stop thing. And then there's the older cub stage where they're a little bit bigger, a little bit stronger. I believe they flee from predators on their own if they see them coming. And so... Um, yeah, by, by the time they get to that stage, they're a lot less vulnerable than they are right now. Uh, that tree is now red, so we definitely need to get over there sooner rather than later. And I still don't trust this big, empty field. <laughs> I feel like something's going to come out of the darkness at me here. But maybe, maybe it'll be alright. Dare I say it, maybe it will. And of course, now that I've said it, it probably won't be. Uh, we just need to keep going. Everybody's walking in a nice single file line behind us here. That They're like perfectly lined up. And uh, I think that's the tree that I can see in the distance there. So if we can get there before the uh, killer male comes back, which actually maybe we will because he did run quite far. <laughs> so we might be able to actually... Um, to actually get ahead of him this time. Maybe we'll be able to, to make it in only two or three times of fending him off. But it's definitely going to be pretty close. So we just need to put as much distance between uh, him and us as we possibly can. And I mean, in all fairness, we were away from the den when we set out. So it probably took us a little bit longer to uh, get... Because we had to get back to our babies. We had to grab food. We had to go. Whereas here, we were pretty much just able to pick up where we left off. So he's definitely starting to turn around and come back. And we are just about at the tree. I think that's the tree right up ahead there. Not the not these pine trees, but uh, the rounder one up there. I'm pretty sure that's the one we have to mark. So we will stop briefly and do that. Just so that we can avoid as many rival spawns as possible. Because again, those guys are also going to cause us trouble uh, for our babies. And we need to stop momentarily and we'll let these guys eat. We will eat when we get closer. Oh my goodness, do not wander off, Autumn. This is not a good time for that. But uh, let's just make our way in this direction. And I think we'll be alright. So, here we go. Um, Yeah, we should be able to just head up here. I'm going to slow down a little bit so that they catch up a bit more because I don't want to lose anyone. Uh, and of course, the farther away they are, the more chance that something will go horrendously wrong. Uh, so let's go over here. We will drop this carcass. We will mark territory. Um, did we eat at the same time? Apparently we ate while we were doing that. Um, or right mouse button to eat. It still says that. Nope, no, it doesn't say that anymore. We finished off that whole carcass, so we need to find some more food for us before uh, before we get too much farther, because we are starting to get hungry. Now, I can't imagine that there won't be some predators soon that we can take on, so I'm not overly worried, but we do need to make sure that we get some food in us soon. And the crossing should be just up ahead. Thankfully, crossings in Untamed aren't nearly as stressful as they are in Wolf Quest. They can be quite the dramatic uh, event there. But uh, here they're a little bit easier, although I imagine in real life it would be a lot more difficult for a cougar to cross a river with her cubs. Uh, these guys are pretty small and uh, probably not the greatest swimmers. And so I can imagine that in the real world, a crossing would be every bit as eventful and dangerous as it is in Wolf Quest. It's more just la uh, due to a lack of the game's coding accounting for that than it is uh, an absence of danger. So let's keep going. Is he getting close again? No, he's actually still quite far away. So we've made very good headway against him here. And uh, so that's a really good thing. Uh, dare I say it, we're doing a lot better crossing between these two dens than we are or than we have been when we've had to go to the center one there. The center is by far my least favorite den. And uh, it's the one where we're most likely to see disastrous consequences, at least in my experience. Um, most of the problems that we've had have been surrounding that den. Uh, there have been some major issues with attacks on that mountain. And whenever the, whenever the game uh, tells us to go there, it's a little bit distressing. And uh, it's definitely very difficult because it is not an easy path to get up there. Uh, it's, it's very hard to find your way. So that's on this central island here is actually the 
Um, well, you can't quite see it rendered in. You can only see the skybox, but there's a big old mountain uh, there that's you have to basically climb up. You have to circle around it, and it takes ages to get there. <laughs> it takes a long time to get to the top. But we made good headway. We're actually very, very close now. And maybe we will make it without another attack. It seems like the killer male has found something to preoccupy his attention. Maybe he too had to go hunt. These guys are hungry. We need food too. Speaking of hunting. Uh, and we seem to be in a real dry spot when it comes to not being able to find any prey. So let's get across the river. We're going to cross over this bridge. And hopefully there will be something on the other side that we can eat. There are rivals wandering around, but of course they're not really going to do anything to help us in the food department. They're just going to cause us more trouble, and we don't even get a snack from our efforts. Uh, of course, that's, uh, that's not how it works. So, let's keep going here. And, oh my goodness, they are so hungry. Please tell me there's something more on the other side. If I run ahead, is there going to be more here? Please tell me there's more. There's really pretty butterflies. Oh man, I don't see them. Oh, I don't I don't see anything to eat. I'm gonna That's not Oh I, I want them to I do want them to follow. Are they still following? They're still following. Okay, oh we they are like out of food. Alright, we are we're not walking down to that crossing. We are we are crossing right here, right now. Um I'm gonna grab you. And we're going to go for it because we can basically just go right across here and not have issues. Oh, they are like out of food right now. Is there anything bad? Um, yeah, it's telling me to allow them to stay and eat. That would work if there was anything for them to eat. We're also quite hungry. Um, oh man, you guys. This might not have been the wisest of ideas. Uh, but we're gonna do it nonetheless. They're gonna start taking damage pretty soon here. I'm gonna start taking damage pretty soon here. Okay. Grab cub, grab cub. There we go, Ginger. Come on, it's time to go across. Please tell me there's gonna be something here. We've had such a long period of having nothing. Um, and the game really isn't designed for crossing, so it's not like there's any sort of protection against something attacking them while we're here, too. We just have to kind of trust... Um, that nothing bad is gonna happen. Okay, there's something back there, so... Oh, I don't really want to go back, though. I think we need to press on ahead and see if there's gonna be something more to eat over here. Because I think we'll have better luck with that than we will otherwise. We might have to go quite far to get food, but I would rather do that when our babies are actually here and safe than uh, when we are trying to evade <laughs> the, the killer male there. Alright, let's keep going. There's got to be something close, right? Other than that rival female. Um, let's just get to the den as quickly as possible. They are taking damage from hunger here. Oh my goodness, this is not good news, you guys. Things are not looking good, but I see the den. I do. Oh, there's there's prey. There's prey. Okay, there's prey. All right, we're we're taking this down. It's an aggressive animal. I don't particularly care. It is a boar. Guys, come here quickly, 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 quickly. Um. Okay. Oh, there's actually lots of predators here. All right, can we? Oh, that's a fox. Okay, that's actually a fox. No, 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 no. Okay, get back to the babies. Get back to the babies. This is a bad idea. Okay, stay with the babies. All right, there's a fox that's gonna come in. We've got to attack. Okay, I'm not, oh my goodness. All right, there's one right there. Oh my gosh, okay. So stay focused. Okay, stay, stay with me, babies. I'm gonna crouch. There's a fox right here. It's gonna come towards us. Oh my goodness, you guys, this is tense. This is tense. And I'm a little worried the other one's gonna come behind us. Okay, get him! Get him! Okay, we got him. Oh, no, the other one! No, the other one! The other one! No, 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 no! Okay, where are my babies? Get back to the babies. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Oh, my goodness. I know you guys are hungry. I know you guys are hungry. But, uh, we own- oh, we're out of food as well. So I don't think we're gonna recover stamina as we lose it. Okay, let's get over here quickly, though. And, um get to the carcass. We will eat and replenish our, our hunger so that these guys aren't down. Okay. Crouch. Follow. Okay, that was... 
That was prey. All right, not predator. Let's keep going this way. We're going to get back to the den and see if we can make it uh, as quickly as possible so that we don't have issues. But I'm actually going to back towards it. That's not quite as quickly as possible, but um, I guess in the uh, we want to be more careful because the predators are generally coming from um, from behind a, or from from this direction, the direction we're facing. So speaking of predators, here we go. All right. Oh, he's running. He's running. All right. There is a predator right behind us though, so I'm not sure what that is. And uh, it is about the end of the episode, but we're going to get back first and then deal with predators. So there's one right off to our side, and I can't tell what it is. Uh, so I'm just going to keep moving and hope we don't encounter it, because, uh, yeah, that would be very bad. It might be a bear. Um, but the foxes are still following us as well, and so we definitely need to make sure we take care of them. There's actually a bison over there, too. Oh, I don't want to go up the cliff. I want to just hug the cliff wall here. How far away? Okay, so it seems like the killer male has had... He may have run into some trouble, which is fortunate for us. Okay, this guy is coming for us. It was a fox. Oh, there's one right here. There's two right here. They're just lurking and waiting. All right, they're waiting for an opportunity. I'm not going to give him one. I'm going to creep forward. They are not... Okay, one of them's going to run, probably. Alright. They are very, very confident. Alright. Alright. Okay, did we get them both? We got them both. Oh my goodness, that was amazing. I'm going to snag this carcass and get back to the babies because there is another fox lurking around. Uh, but we, we are just gonna, we're gonna keep moving for now. I want to see, where is it? It's a ways away, so we just kind of gotta watch. That was amazing. I didn't think we were gonna be able to take them both out like that, but we did. We're all right, and the den is just up ahead. Let's pause briefly. We'll let them eat, and we'll continue on. So, let's head in this direction. We're very, very close. And as long as we can get here, we should be all right. Um... I think, okay, just a, a few steps farther here, there is one more fox lurking behind us, but we did manage to take down two of the three. Uh, in fact, I think three of the four, I think it was, wasn't it? But in any case, we are here at the den now, and we should at least be safe from the killer male. He's all the way down there. He's not going to reach us in the little time that we have left here. Uh, to get to the den, and we're going to end off as we reach here, because I think this is a good stopping place. Uh, we will deal with the other fox in the next episode. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.